But what has been quite interesting here is that overall the U.S. has been quite sympathetic to Harry and Meghan since they arrived um, a couple of years ago. But certainly over the last couple of weeks, there's been a slight change in the tide. You've heard a number of the morning show anchors being a little bit critical. There was one in particular who said to her anchor in London, uh, you've watched it so we don't have to. That was a, a step aside from how things had been before. Uh, Howard Stern co complained about them being whiny. I won't complete the rest of that sentence. Uh, the ladies on The View said that they're tired of hearing Harry and Meghan complain. The couple were mocked on Saturday Night Live. This is all quite new, and I think it speaks to the fact that there's just been such a saturation of all the ways that Harry and Meghan feel hard done by, and it becomes increasingly difficult to feel sorry for someone when they appear to be leading such a life of wealth and privilege. Now, I do think it's important to remember that no amount of money negates a person's pain or lived experience. But there's a point where you wonder how tone deaf this is when there's a war going on, when people are wondering how they're going to feed their families and heat their homes. And at some point, I think people are, are, are losing patience and they're going to continue to lose patience. And we've still got a book to go.